Hey, what's up? Zach King here with a 7D tutorial. And I've got some footage from the Canon 7D, and what I want to show you is how to convert it. A lot of people are just dragging their regular footage right into Final Cut Pro or their editing system, and uh, they're telling me it's really choppy or it's, it's dropping a lot of frames. And a quick way to solve that and to get a better quality clip, when you come from the Canon 7D, what you want to do is turn it into an Apple ProRes. So I've got my raw footage here from a prison scene shot on 7D and if I drag this right into Final Cut Pro it's going to um, have that drop frames and it's going to be kind of messed up and so what I do and a lot of other people are doing this is using MPEG Stream Clip so it's a free software you can download it online search for it MPEG Stream Clip and um, you can go to list and we're going to create a batch list and what I'm going to do is drag my raw footage I'm going to grab two shots here and I'm going to drag them in here, and it's going to pop up this message. Export in QuickTime. Well, you've got your conversions here. This is a conversion software, so you could do a different format. But I'm going to show you for Final Cut. I'm going to go into QuickTime. I'm going to uncheck these boxes, join all files, and fix timecode breaks. Say OK. I've got a save location here, a folder called 7D Conversions. Now, this is the most important window that you're going to deal with. Your compression type, you want to scroll up. And the trick is here to go to Apple ProRes 422 not the high quality version just hit the 422 bump this up to 100 percent make sure your size is right I'm on 1920 and that's all you need to do and you're ready to go and batch this list you need to hit this go button right here and you'll see a time message telling you how long to complete when they're finished they'll show up in my conversion file and so I save that here on this disk called 7d conversion it'll show up right here here's the first one doing its magic converting and when they're done I'm ready to drag those into Final Cut and they're a lot easier to work with and they're in Apple ProRes 422 format so enjoy this little tip that it once again is MPEG stream clip you can find that online I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial and I'll do a few more 70 uh, little workflow tips like this so watch out for those FinalCutKing.com I'm Zach King I'll see you guys later